Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Yeah, got him. Yeah, lean back. It comes down to me is we have a responsibility while we're on this planet. Sturgeon have been in BC waters for millions of years, but now some fear the days are numbered for the endangered fish. I mean, it's something that's, like I said, as simple as signing this petition. You're giving these fish a voice and you're continuing the growth of an ancient fish that has been around longer than us. fighting hard like it is absolutely kicking his butt and he is he's fighting it like really really well too so I think it's really heavy fish <laughs> come on Jan yeah hit him nice he's on. He's on. <laughs> grab these other rods yeah yep. yeah grab it in How's this drag? Pretty good. Yeah, Not really moving much. Oh! He just popped me off, dude. <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> dude! Tight? Too tight? Just a little bit. Maybe? I don't know. Dude, what the f am I? <laughs> Damn it! I, got, I got a decent look at it. It wasn't massive, but it was. It was my fish. That was sweet though, the bite was just like... It's so funny, a lot of you guys watching home probably think, you know, the bite is like, zzz, like you just peels drag right on the initial strike, but such a big fish and it's just like a boop, boop, boop. I swear to God, crappie bite harder than these guys. That is until you lean back, it's like... We are about to net the first fish. We've, we've seen glimpses of it, but I think this thing is absolutely huge. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Holy That's cow. That's a big one, baby. Good work, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Can't good. feel hands. <laughs> yeah, you did really Let's go. Look at this guy. That's huge. Oh. That's a nice fish. It's just what I thought. Seven. So what we're doing here is this is the Fraser River Conservation Society. Do you Actually, want to scan them? we were we scan them. Here we go. Scan your oh, fish. Okay. Four eight six. Four two. Four two. So we're actually going to measure the girth, the fork Ooh, length, my man. and uh, we got the oh, tag number written down. Okay. So now you can actually track this fish and see what it's caught and um, how long it's been alive and uh, that sort of thing. So pretty cool system. Tired arms, but up at the top of the pectoral fin. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful. A lot bigger in person. Seven two. That's a nice fish. That's a that's a great first fish. It's called a straightened hook. <laughs> it happens. It happens out here. You just never know. John should know better. He should have walked that fish around better. He could have stood on here. He could have prayed. He just buckled. You know, he's been waiting too long, too many days, where he's. Been up all night thinking about the sturgeon. He wanted it too bad. Sometimes you just have to let it happen. We're gonna give him another shot, though. We're gonna give him another shot to get this right. Okay. Yeah, guys. So this is Matt's third trip, and this is my first trip. Never done this before. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a bit of a sturgeon virgin right now. Hence the bent hook and the. There's a fish right there. Get him. 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 Get
So <laughs> nice. Oh, there we yeah. go, baby. A little redemption yeah. there. A little redemption there. <laughs> quick hits, quick hits. Sorry, I didn't mean to just dump your rod there, but I was really anxious to get that one. Pop that one up. Pop oh, no. Oh, what a guy. Oh, fully what heated. A guy. Fully oh, heated at the moment. Who is this guy? I love it. I love it. Well, it's a humbling experience when you come to Columbia. Dude, that one didn't even head thrash. It was just off. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh, here we go. We're hooked up, baby. That's a, that's a big this one right there. The this is a big one. Oh gosh. Oh, come on, come on, fish. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be absolutely dead after this fight. I'll tell you right now, this is about to be bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, this is a big one, baby. This is a big Those one. Our big head shakes. This is a big fish. He might jump here too. We'll see. Flair's actually handling this fish pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed right now. One buckle Bill has got both his buckles on. He's fighting this fish to the side, and it's just it's a slow, large fish. Those bigger fish tend to just stay down and don't move as much as the smaller fish do because they've just got so much more strength. Look at that rod, Ben. And look at one buckle Bill. Just getting it. Yeah, yeah! yeah. You, can, you can feel it? Yeah. So it's on the bottom, it's not drop, yeah, dripping off? I just felt it come up. Yeah, that's a fish. Rock it low. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Just let him go that's nice and easy yeah. on the shelf. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy with him. Going the wrong way right now. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. I can't get too cocky though. She's uh yeah. running for the hills. Or the mountains, I should say. <laughs> okay. Okay. This feels juicy. Third time's a charm, right? Big process here when you hook a big fish. Anything over seven foot seems to require a lot of finesse. Kev gets on the motor, positions whoever's hooked up in an angle in which the fighting's a little bit easier. Get right on top of the fish because it's rocky down there. Super, super snaggy. Any sort of nick or error can cause that fish to break free. A lot of margin for error here, you just gotta watch it. This has become a very painful retreat for this fish. Really? Really? You have to. You absolutely have to do this. Oh my god. I need him to we need him to dig deep here. I can only, like, I only have sympathy for him right now. It's about, we're 15 into the fight, and I can tell his arms are jelly. <laughs> come on, come on. It's got surface. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh, that's a big, Current's pushing him up. The current's pushing him up. He's got the third fish. He's hooked. I'm I think he's got right this now, one. Dude. He's getting he's getting worked really good by this fish. I can't wait to see it. My arms hurt. My crotch hurts. Man, this is a good fish. It feels so good to be back with Kev on the Fraser. Oh my god. Dude, it feels so nice. Okay. Coming left. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, like six. Oh, we 
we got the boat up against shore. Try to get a little bit shallower water and try to get him landed here. Look at how little that's sitting on the edge right there. See that? Yeah. Just nothing. Woo! Okay, reel down. Yep. Right there's good. Beautiful looking fish. Yeah. Wow. Look how white he is. Yeah, he is pale. Yes! Didn't get the three strikes, hey. Nice okay, job. Quick. Write that down. Yeah, we got a tagged fish. Another 431 number. So that's interesting because those fish, again, were tagged 15 to 20 years ago. So um, was he caught before or has he been disappeared for a while to the ocean? Um, that's the cool thing about the program is because once we get the numbers back in, you can look back historically to find out what's going on with these fish. So very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. You want to scat them? So make sure you just hold the read button down. Right where we would take it. Yeah, you got a take number. Okay. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay, you ready? Yep. Zero Alpha one eight one two zero Bravo. Two zero Bravo. So I've got. You're straight there. Straight. That's eight six and a half. <laughs> eight. Eight footers. Man. Eight footers. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe it. <laughs> this is a legendary fish. <sighs> Here's our big white beauty. Not a very, very large fish, but uh, at least for Fraser sturgeon standards, but an awesome starter. Matt's, I think, was 210. This one is what, 190 something, 180 something? I don't know, but it's a really nice fish, about a six footer. We're gonna get a few. Six foot two. Six foot fork. two. Yep. Six foot two at the fork of the tail. Gnarly, just freaking gnarly. What a way to start an epic two day sturgeon mission. Oh my God, I'm shaking. That's awesome. Oh man, such a pretty, gorgeous. They are just. How old do you think this fish is? All oh, this fish could be anywhere from 50 to 80 years old, I would guess. Yeah. Wow. Just a prehistoric creature. Just beautiful. The oldest fish. She's ready to go. Send her on her way. Just like that, she's gone. Dude, hell yeah. Welcome back. It's good to be back, Cove. It's good to be back. Ah, speechless, dude. That's just, God, I'm like tingly right now. Since I was a kid sturgeon fishing and growing up, uh, Sturgeon's always been a passion of mine, and, uh, and when I started to transition from my hockey career into uh, into having the guiding company and getting more involved with uh, with sturgeon, we've uh, we've become uh, big advocates for sturgeon. So this this single-handedly, uh, if if we keep going down this road and we do transition on the gill nets to more sustainable technologies such as fish wheels, uh, pound nets, uh, and other sustainable technologies, we'll uh, uh, we'll significantly uh, help out the population for sturgeon for years to come. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey. He's on, baby! Here Fish we go! On, boys. There you go! Oh, Let's reel these in real quick. It's been a minute since I felt the pure strength of a white sturgeon. Oh, he's just not even moving. Sitting in the current. Oh gosh, there's just nothing like it. Fish that just has so much power. Uses its whole body to uses its whole body in the current just to fight and oh I was giving flip right now. I can see where his pain is. Your arms just go out. We're pulling the anchor or we're pulling the anchor. Now the fight begins. He is to give that fish no room to go. Far right, hammer it down. All right, so we're checking left side. Yeah, you yep. got it. Three, four, four. six. Down the dumps. The fish officially measured six two. We're gonna let it go now. It's just an absolute pristine, no marks on her, just super clean fish. It's been caught before, which is cool. And uh, she's gonna swim away just, just perfectly right now. 
time for the 12. Hit him. There he is. Oh, oh, nice, Matt. Nice, sweet, job, dude. sweet. You're fine. Okay, get ready to go around the kicker. Yep. Hold on tight. Is he off there now? No, he's not. Weight's off. You all right? Fish, yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Fish. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Just dig it. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want to come in. He's the bird. He's like, no, I'm good. That's a stud. Another stud. Another good one. It's another freaking stud. Oh, oh. Alright, we're gonna take this one to shore. It's a little bit bigger than we thought. At first glance, I thought it was like five. Kept thought it was six. And we got it closer. It's a pretty good one. So we're gonna land her on the beach. That's a strong fish, boys. See, this guy's been in a net. You can see all the marks through there. And, uh,. That's what we're trying to bring awareness to, selective salmon harvesting that don't get these guys caught up in, uh, in nets because they start as little guys and then uh, we start seeing uh, big parts of the population uh, between 100 centimeters and bigger. We're just not seeing a lot of them. So uh, they start getting caught up young and we never, re we never get to see them when they're bigger. So pretty sad to see, but we're doing all we can to try and change that uh, technique. Dude, good job. All the bigs today. We're hooked up! Yee-hee! Bacon or what? It feels pretty good. <laughs> feels all right. So we are hooked up with fish number four for the day. Michael is over here fighting it. As you can tell, the sun's starting to get close to setting. We don't have much sunlight left. And Hooked up with what we think is pretty big. I think it's pretty, pretty good size one. At the beginning, it wasn't fighting much, but now it's, it's doing some damage on you, huh? Yeah. Why did I set that? Up? <laughs> I can't imagine going through what I went through twice in a day, and I think this fish is also bigger than my fish. So you are, you're done, buddy. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Unreal. I cannot believe Michael pulled through with that. I, I would have wimped out 100%. Would have wimped out on that. He sat there and fought it, fought it, fought it. Finally got it landed. Pretty good one, huh? Too tired. You know, everyone went through the rotation. It was yeah. me again. Fish feel 100 times bigger when you're tired, but it's great to have it in the cradle. Another fish in the cradle. That's a nice thick fish. 76 and a half inches, so six, four and a half. Fish number four, 194 centimeters long and 81 centimeters girth. Yeah, I know. Just a beauty. Okay, one, two, three. It's incredible. These fish continue to amaze me. This is my third time doing this. So you'd think I'd be used to this now, but it's just you can't. You really can't be used to it. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I've seen the biggest fish. I've ever seen in my life today. I've caught the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life today. On the end of your rod, yeah. Well, that was a pretty bang up day. I think that's the most action I think we've all had in the Fraser yeah. River. Eight footer, is that right? Eight and a half, yeah. First sturgeon ever. I caught a freaking nice one. Matt caught a free. It's just unbelievable. Can't thank Kevin Eve enough for letting us come out here and uh, fish with us. Learn so much every time I come out here. And uh, along with that, we catch some massive, massive fish. But uh, I want to thank Mike for showing up too and uh, dabbling with us on the Fraser River, the epic BC Fraser River. And you guys want to add before we sign out? Nothing, right? Oh, I had a blast. No. <laughs> I want to say thanks for all the Googans for having me. It was Absolutely amazing. It was amazing being out here. And uh, yeah, if you get a chance, come out here to the Fraser River. Give Kevin a call. It's it's an experience you'll yeah. you'll never forget. Never it, forget. So. Even if you've never even heard of a white surgeon before, you've got to knock off your list. Kevin Eve's business link in the description below. You guys can literally fish out here and catch some sturgis. So with that being said, we will catch you guys tomorrow. We're filming another video. 
doing a little challenge. It should be quite epic, but you have to stay tuned for that one. Peace out, we'll catch you later.